steadily it rises. Public preference for Lincoln Continental as the symbol for today's luxury motoring. Top of the morning to you. It's ODB, the Lincoln Addict. Up in the six o'clock hour on a Saturday. Feels good. We're gonna take the car out to uh, Tampa area, actually downtown Tampa, for rides by the river. Got a couple of the homies that are gonna meet up. I think Tony's gonna bring a 68. I went to his house last night, helped him a little bit. Friend Bill might bring a 64 Cadillac. He also has a Lincoln uh, that's getting some work done. And uh, my buddy's gonna come by here in a little bit. What I did was last night, I did start the car. Uh, just to make sure the battery, there hasn't been any challenges with it. Um, there was one day the battery was a tad, I think a tad low. Um, and I'll show you guys. Obviously, this car will start easy even if um, it's been sitting for like a week. But, you know, it was started yesterday. I was put my foot in the brake. You'll notice here I need to get a different another screw um, that's the Detroit deviant it's hard to see with the light on that's the Detroit deviant lens and the screw has fallen and I've looked for it it's fallen and it can't get up I need to find it so I can fix that um, and this thing will warm up nice and idle um, like I said before Robert shout out to Robert I know he, he watches thanks man uh, he has a cool backup camera on here, and I do like it, but at night, it's really bright right here, and you can't really dim it. Um, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with that and see if I'm going to end up putting it down here or what I want to do. Um, and he even has this little cell phone holder. But the main thing he did, someone recently asked about this dash mat. And, um, you know, I love the look of the dashes, but I do like the idea of kind of protecting it. So if I do take this down and this down, I can easily take this off. Um, but there's a company called Dashmat that made this. So someone inquired recently and, and um, Robert, thank you, was like, hey, look at the little tag. I think there's a tag on there and there of course was. So I'm gonna check the fluids and um, get ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna take the Griot's Garage. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do here. This hood latch pops so simple. Um, my, my blue car, you gotta really, I can't even do it with my left hand on the blue car. I've really gotta get a good grip like this and pull it straight and pop it. I think the cable might need to be lubricated in a couple spots, I think. But um, I'll show you guys what I do with the Griot's Garage, um, the little uh, wipe down deal that I bought. And I got all my Griot's Garage stuff in my new cabinet. I'm working on a video for that, but you just gotta get to it. So I go in my little cabinet here, and I talked about Griot's Garage recently, but this was something I didn't have when I was a child. My dad always had the California Duster, and I actually looked into buying one of those, and I'm sure that company's been bought and sold multiple times. Um, what I ended up with is people saying, dude, if you're gonna get one of these, get this. Now really what I'm gonna end up doing is, what I'm gonna end up doing is getting a car cover for this. Um, where it sits right now in here, it actually stays clean for the most part, but as you can imagine, there's stuff particles and stuff everywhere but what i am going to do is get um a good indoor car cover um even if it's just the one that you just lightly put around it um to keep sediment from from dropping on it um and then i'll probably get a higher end one for car shows so like on friday night if it's staged or whatever at, at said car show I'll be able to uh, put that over it like a waterproof style one. And um, it, uh, it'll keep, you know, the moisture and stuff off. Um, 
Now what I'll do too, what I like to do is I like to do this. I mean, I'm not a professional detailer. Um, I've said that before, but I do like to get in here and just get some of this sediment off before I use like a mist and wipe. Um, it drives me crazy. You know, I can't, you know, and I don't think anybody would recommend just going straight mist and wipe unless you know the car surface was clean. So uh, again, the other thing that I've said before is the paint on this car is not perfect. It's really nice and I'm happy with it and I'll live with this for possibly the rest of my time. Literally, I like it that much. But, um, you know, I do, I do want to keep it looking nice. I need to reclose that hood, I think. But yeah, that's what, that's all I do. And you can see there's a little bit of stuff in it and I'm going to just do the mist and wipe now with my, uh, Griot Garage product and, uh, she'll be good to go to roll again. And that keeps me from. I used to wash stuff every single time, but you know, being being having something nice like this that sits in the garage, um, it just makes it quick to be able to do this and then mist and wipe. And uh, she'll be good to go. Thanks for playing along here in the first person video of me wiping this thing down. Maybe try to document the rest of the day, but we'll see. So what I did was I just took off the cap, got the speed shine, put a fresh nozzle in it, shook it up for the directions, and I'm ready to rock and roll. If you guys like um, what I do with Lincoln Attic Podcast, check out my other podcast, Our Lifestyle Podcast, also known as OLP. I recently had... Uh, a guy that I met at the Rad Hell Track event in 2018. I had him on Poor Boy Steve and another guy who's almost a three decade veteran in the United States military. Um, he has a company called Rad BMX Builds. Not tied to Rad the movie, but I was just looking at this case and I thought of that. Our Lifestyle Podcast, check it out. It's a weekly podcast.
Yo, yo, so I got back to the house a little while ago, hung out with the homie Kirk, and uh, just back the car in, done for the day. It is hot, I don't know if you can see how sweaty I am, but it was a good day. We got a few guys together, we went out and cruised. We hit the local place, Rides by the River. I'll use that hashtag on the Instagram slash Facebook photos. And uh, just don't forget, you can go to lincolnaddict.com. You can order the shirts. I do have a few left, uh, various sizes. So go place an order. There's also stickers out there. Appreciate you guys rocking with me today as far as uh, the short video overall. Stay on the rise. And we'll hit you guys next time with another video. Yeah,